الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. All praise due to Allah and may He send His blessings and prayers upon our Prophet Muhammad, his family and all of his companions. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome to a new session in our journey with the story of the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We mentioned concerning the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that during the time of the Sahaba radiyallahu anhum. The Sunnah wasn't collected because they were afraid that it will be mixed with the Quran. And we said that Umar ibn Khattab anhu had a concern to collect the Sunnah. However, he didn't for this purpose. Now, after the time of Umar ibn Khattab anhu and the attempts or the contribution of the Sahaba anhu to preserve the Sunnah, which we found in terms of their confirmation of some of the narrations, like we said, what happened with Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu. And also we said that some of the Sahaba traveled to hear some of the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam, like Jabir ibn Abdullah. We find that the Khalifa Umar ibn Abdul Aziz during the year 99 of the Hijrah approximately, he decided that it's now suitable or he thought now it was suitable to compile the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. So Umar ibn Abdul Aziz, Umar ibn Abdul Aziz wrote to some of the governors of that time, those who were appointed on different cities, such as Abu Bakr ibn Hazm al Medina. And he said to them, basically, look and find and try to collect the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. For indeed, I am afraid that the knowledge will be removed or will be disappear and that the scholars would die. So Umar ibn Abdul Aziz, he wrote to some of the scholars of that time and he asked them to collect the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. One of the famous names that are very important for us to know is the scholar named Al-Imam Al-Zuhri, Muhammad ibn Muslim ibn Shihab Al-Zuhri, who died uh, in the year 125 or 124 approximately. Al-Imam Al-Zuhri played a very important role in compiling the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam at this early stage, one of the first scholars to try to compli- compile many traditions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So Al-Imam Al-Zuhri, he responded to the request of Umar ibn Abdul Aziz, may Allah have mercy on them all. And this was one of the first attempts to collect the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So Al-Imam Al-Zuhri he did two things. The first thing is that he collected all of the ahadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam together. Secondly, in addition to the ahadith, he added the fatawa or the rulings or the verdicts of the Sahaba and the Tabi'een. So it was along with the ahadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, there were also the fatawa or the verdicts of the Sahaba and the Tabi'een. We also find after Al-Imam Al-Zuhri, many other scholars followed his steps to compile the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. For example, we have in the Medina of Mecca, we have Ibn Juraij, we have Sufyan al-Thawri in al-Kufa, Hamad ibn Salama in al-Basra, we have Ma'mar in al-Yaman, we have al-Awza'i in al-Sham, amongst other scholars. Now, these scholars who came after Imam al-Zuhri, what they did is, they collected the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. however, they put them in chapters or abwab. And also they had with it the statements of the Sahaba and the Tabi'een. So these scholars, they had their collections of the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which as we mentioned had the hadith and also the statements of the Sahaba and the Tabi'een and the Tabi'een. And these books or these collections had names during this time. So one of the names was the Musannaf. The Musannaf was a type of collection. And we have, for example, the Musannaf of Abd al-Zaq. We also, have during this time books that were called the Jami' and we have, for example, the Jami' of Ma'mar. We also have books that were called the Muwatta's. So we have the famous Muwatta of Imam Malik. The Muwatta of Imam Malik is a type of collection. We know or we know of it is called the Muwatta of Imam Malik. There were other Muwatta's as well or books called the Muwatta. So the Muwatta of Imam Malik was one of the most famous and most authentic 
the most authentic books of Muwatta's during that time. So we find the Jama' that was a type of book, the Musannaf, and also the Muwatta. So these were the attempts of the scholars during that time after Imam al-Zuhri, as we mentioned. And this was one of the early stages of compiling and the first stage of compiling the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And with this we will end here. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.